Hey there, good morning. Uh, I'm doing this video because I YouTubed it and they, a guy had it set up, but it wasn't really all of there. So I figured it out by myself. And it, pretty much if you have a 2015 Dodge Caravan or, or 2014, 16, 17, or 18, it's pretty much the same thing. So since we have the DVD over here, um we have the hdmi connected in the back and for the other cables for videos and stuff so after googling and doing research i found out that i could get an hdmi and buy me one of these connectors for the iphone hdmi and then you could power it or give power to your cell phone charging it while you're watching netflix or youtube so i went out and i bought me one of these apple ones at walmart for 50 bucks um they're kind of the better brand the apple and i had hdmi cable at home and i had two different ones and i only bought me an adapter for like four five bucks at walmart and so pretty much i ended up spending like 60 bucks overall i mean if you have to buy a whole new hdmi cable to run it from the back seat over there in the corner to over here it'll probably be like an eight footer maybe a 12 footer six footer won't will be too short um i ended up adapting a six footer and a four footer and it gave me a little bit of slack so i'm going to show you what i did and then power it up so it's kind of raining but what i did is I, I took that apart it's pretty easy to take this apart right here you just pop it out and the hdmi is in there so what i did is i ran a wire and i gave it a little bit of slack in there simply because my kids are back here and i was afraid they were going to keep pulling it so that's why i took it out and i stuffed it in there and i taped it so that for some reason i decided to pull for it it won't unhook then i did two zip ties there and then i ran it through the bottom or through the side i ran the cable through there and then i ran it through here and then if you know on a dodge caravan stow and go you have the compartment down there and you open it so i ran it through there then i ran it through over there i took off those little caps there and i ran my wire through there i'm not sure if you can see it or not but it's there and then i ran it and then i ran it through there through the side then i actually came and i bought me well i actually had a cone bit and i did a hole there to run the wire in right in the corner so it's actually hidden you can't you would have to really pay attention but since it has this black cover it really helps it keep it hidden so when i'm not using it i just fold it in there and yeah so once you have that hooked on and run through um you can hook on your hdmi to your thing right here and then i'm gonna use my wife's phone since i'm obviously recording with this one and just hook it on to the phone and then that's how I'll, that's how i'll end up so you'll see that there that blue which means that you're hooked on and once that you could go to your netflix or youtube i'm just gonna go to netflix sorry wrong one netflix and just whatever just whatever you want to play on netflix i'm just gonna put my daughter's thing because that's what they want to watch so once you have that 
it would obviously start going here in a bit but as you can see i have it set up to where i'm listening to music and back here the girls actually have it um the dvd the, the dvd they're watching they're actually watching the dvd right there and so not sure why my wife's phone is taking too long but I'll go somewhere else maybe Mazai or whatever so now that it starts playing it'll say that and obviously you won't have it playing in the back so what you do is you go to VS and then you go to VS here and then you have all of these discs. And since right now it's in disc, you wanna make sure that it's right here in AOX1. So you click AOX1 and then rear AOX video source. So now that you have that, you could pretty much go back and just leave it there. And then you should be playing the Messiah here on uh, your front obviously that will only work when the vehicle is parked and then you could go to the back and it's playing in the back too so no more long trips uh the girls could watch netflix while they're on there and so yeah and it, it, it also works for youtube um just go to you know just exit out or whatever and it's actually moving but just go to YouTube and it'll do that mirroring thing but once you're once you start playing something it'll it'll go so right now that I clicked on something so it'll play it'll go So now that it says connect to airplay, now you can just watch it over here. That's pretty cool. So this, that's, this is my wife's mix on YouTube. And yeah, you can watch it. Now that the song's gonna start, you can watch it there. So yeah, and you can watch it in the back also. Uh -oh. Yeah, pretty cool. I mean, obviously, if you like traveling, that's obviously if you're gonna travel and stuff, that's a pretty good thing. So, I'm gonna go on ahead and disconnect it. So, that should be it. But, you know, just the same thing if you want to go back to disc or anything like that, you know. You can go to your radio and your radio will work, but you want your DVDs to work again. So pretty much just go to media and then go to V's or VES and make sure you go back to disc. Once you're on disc, you should have your DVD playing in the back again. Because if you don't, if you're still on AOX, you won't have nothing playing. So. Make sure you go to disc and you should be good. And then after that, just go back and yeah, just go to disc or whatever. And yeah, you should be good. So yeah, I usually just unhook this, unhook it and just have it in there ready to go. So there you go, you guys. Um, this is something that I did. Um, obviously, I already had the HDMI sitting around. I just bought an adapter for four bucks. And this for 50 bucks with the two year warranty. And with that, I'm able to watch Netflix and YouTube on my entertainment center or system. Hope this helps out. Um, I'm pretty sure it'll help somebody out. I know I watched some videos, but they weren't really detailed on what you should do. So. 
hopefully this makes somebody's life easier and if you have a van or i'm pretty sure it could work even on a yukon or some of this other stuff has pretty much the same way but this is in particular in a 2015 dodge caravan all right have a good day